Hey everybody, I recently saw a comment that I know a lot of you are wondering about too. It said, isn't using Todoist and ClickUp a little redundant? Could I just create that separation in ClickUp instead? Would having them together cause too many mistakes? This is a fantastic question because it gets to the heart of how to build a productivity system. Now, before we dive in, quick clarification. When I talk about Todoist in this video, I'm using it as an example of task managers in general. Tools like TickTick, Things, Microsoft To Do, and so on. And when I mention ClickUp, I'm representing project management tools like Asana, Monday.com, Notion, and similar platforms too. So if you're using different tools, the principles in this video apply to your setup too. Here's the thing. Redundancy isn't about the number of tools you use. It's about whether each tool has a clear, intentional purpose in your system. In the ICO framework, we have four key areas, personal knowledge management, personal project management, business knowledge management, and business project management. The commenter actually nailed it. He's asking about separation between personal and business and between shallow and deep work. That separation is exactly what makes or breaks your productivity system. But here's what nobody talks about, volume. If you're managing just a handful of tasks each week, using multiple tools is overkill. Full stop. And if your projects are simple, like a few action items grouped together, then what the heck do you need a full project management tool for? Start simple, bottom-up approach. Maybe you just need a task manager like Todoist for now. But as your volume grows, as your projects get more complex, as you add team collaboration, that's when you level up to a project manager like ClickUp. But forcing yourself into a complex system when you've got 10 tasks a week, that's not productivity. That's making work about work. Now, if you're already dealing with high volume, dozens of personal tasks, multiple team projects, complex workflows, then the question becomes more interesting. Your brain works differently in personal mode versus business mode. When you open ClickUp and see your team's projects and deadlines, you're in a completely different headspace than when you're managing your personal tasks. That mental context switching costs you energy. If you accidentally assign a personal task to your team or you're constantly worried about mixing contexts, that's mental overhead you're carrying around all day. So here's when using both makes sense. Clear mental boundaries. Opening your task manager puts you in personal execution mode. Opening your project manager puts you in team collaboration mode. Different depths of work. Task manager for shallow personal tasks. Project manager for deep complex projects. And risk management. Separate tools eliminate the risk of mixing personal and business contexts. And here's the game changer. Tools that integrate beautifully with each other. Sansama connects to both your task manager and your project manager, pulling everything into one daily planning view. During your weekly planning, you see it all, personal tasks and business projects in one place. Clear separation in your core apps for execution, consolidated visibility in your planner for planning. That's not redundancy. That's the power of having a system that works for you. I've made a whole video showing exactly how this workflow works, so check the link in the description. And here's when one tool might be still enough for you. If you are highly organized and can maintain clear workspaces without mixing context, one tool can handle both, like Notion. If you want the complete picture and seeing everything together helps rather than overwhelms you, consolidate. If you're willing to be meticulous about organization within that tool, it can work beautifully. But here's the key question. Does this kind of setup serve my system or am I trying to force a system to serve the setup? The ICO framework teaches us that overlaps are decision points, not problems to fix. The question isn't, is this redundant? The question is, is this intentional? If you can clearly explain why you use both, if each tool has a specific role, then it's a strategic choice, not redundancy. So here's my advice. Start simple, use what matches your current volume. Map your tools on the ICO framework when things get complex. If your task manager is your single source of truth for personal tasks and your project manager is your single source of truth for business projects, that's clean. If a planner like Sansama pulls them together, even better. But if you're duplicating tasks between tools without a planning layer, you've got a problem. 
Now to answer the original question, no, using a task manager and a project manager isn't automatically redundant. It depends on your volume, your complexity, and whether you're using them intentionally. You could create that separation in one tool if you're meticulous about it. But if keeping them separate gives you peace of mind and prevents mistakes, that separation isn't redundant. It's valuable. Trust your system. Trust your intuition. Build what works for you. All right, everybody, I hope this cleared things up. Check out our ICO framework to see exactly where your tools live and whether you've got redundancy or strategic separation. And watch my other video about how Sansama brings everything together. Link in the description. Let's ICO together.